ಬಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ ದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಬಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದ ನಂಗ ಬಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶಿಂದುವೇವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಘಯತ್ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈತೋಸಿರ ಪೈಕೇಶವ ಸಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೇ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ತಮತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಣ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರುಣ ಧೈಯಂ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದಂ ಶಿವ ವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯಂ ಭೀತಾತ್ಿಹಂ ಪನುತುಪಾಲಿಭವಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನು ಖಚಂದಮುನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕೃಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಿಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತಬಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬೋದಾತು ಶಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದಿಯವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಂಪತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೇಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶ್ಚಜುಷ್ಷು ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಯಶ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀರ್ ಪಂಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Sri Chaitanya Manavishtam Sapitam Jena Bhutali Swayam Rupaha Kadama Yam Dadatisapatantikam Sri Chaitanya Manabhishtam Sapitam Jena Bhutali Swayam Rupaha Kadama Yam Dadasi Shopadantikam Gorya Goshti Bhakti Srila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada Jagaduru told that uh, bonded souls they have their nature inside their nature they always have that uh, sleepiness in their uh, actual swarupa their, they in their actual swarupa they have all uh, both the baddhavastha and well as the muktavakta avastha both are present in the uh, jiva Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada speaking. Paramahamsa Jagadur speaking, told that in bonded souls, in their nature, actually in the nature of their Swarup, always they have that sleepiness and they just get active in their Swarupa. They always have their in the in the nature of the jiva. They have both the padavasta and the muktavasta in their actual swarupa, which is related to their atma. All the bhogis and all the tyagis, both both are actually the padavasta bonded bonded state of a pad of a jiva. Maybe that tyagi, the who has just given everything. He always uh, thinking that he is actually mukt. He is thinking that he is mukt. But in actual, he is always in that bonded state. Both the tyagi as well as the bhogi, both are in the bonded state. Why? Because in this world, there is nothing that I can uh, get rid of. I can tyag. Tyag means if what i can uh, uh tyag means that uh, uh what is not mine i will not take that that is called tyag what is what is uh, not mine how i can uh, just leave that thing in this world nothing is uh, there in this material world uh, my body also my material body is also not mine so how i can leave that my heart my material mind is also not mine so what is mine actually this my material mind is also made of prakriti material nature i have uh, told this point a lot of times before as well but you are not actually careful on this point this false ego of mine is also of material nature my heart my material mind is all from material nature so what is mine nothing is mine in actual only the jivatma in his vishuddha uh, stage uh, he can understand that i am the actual das of krishna he this is the actual swarup of the jivatma this also has come from uh, bhagwan itself When, when uh, under the under the title of Yukta Vairagya, when Yukta Vairagya comes inside our heart, then only it is possible that we can do actual Hari Bhajan. Where all the how to do Bhagavad Seva and what is the actual Bhagavad Tattva, everything will come inside our heart. What is our, what thing is not ours? Then we are thinking that I have just uh, leave it and I and, uh, and I have given up all my mother, father, parents, sisters, everyone. I have just leave them. 
all all the money what i have i have everything left left it and this is not the this is not the state of uh, uh, leaveness the things which are not yours and cannot be yours in the future as well what you can say that you have already left that where that question comes that you have left it that's why in gita it is written that if anyone wants to speak that in bhagavad gita it is written that uh, i have uh, i have uh, just read lot of shloka of bhagavad gita so uh, just give me the summary of gita in just two shlokas if uh, someone ask me about uh, the summary of the gita just give me uh, the summary of the gita in just two shlokas gita ka sar keh de while This is the actual summary of Gita. In just two words, what I want to speak, Krishna speaking. That what is yours? Why are you crying? What is yours in this life? Why are you crying? what you have uh, taken in this uh, world and what you will uh, uh, take back when you will leave this body whatever you are taking all la puja pratishta and you have taken everything from this material nature only just be attention be careful about this what i am speaking whatever you have taken in this material world you have taken it from this material nature and you have to give it everything to the material nature back when you will leave this body you don't have anything and will not be yours in the future and is not your at present as well so why you are crying the transformation is the actual nature of material nature so this transformation will goes on and if you will cry for this transformation then oh my father is gone my son is gone this is gone that is gone whatever is gone let it go all are actually like uh, travelers whosoever will be getting on to their station they will just get out of that and if your station will come you have to go out of the uh, train like so it's like a traveler so why are you crying for that nothing to cry for so all this uh, uh, happiness and unhappiness is just uh, all temporary so we don't want to cry for all this only there is one one uh, thing that is bhagavad priti just to remember bhagwan always at the time of that also you have to remember about bhagwan always there should be remembrance of bhagwan inside our heart that is the only uh, prayer on to the lotus feet at the lotus feet of shri krishna and uh, what is uh, whatever is the wish of krishna only i can just pray at the lotus feet of krishna otherwise uh, krishna knows everything so bhagavad smriti is the top most thing there is nothing more uh, than bhagavad smriti just to remember krishna avishruti krishna padaravindar chinati avadradi chasantanuti chatasya suddhin paramarth bhakti gyanam ch vigyana virag yukta to get bhakti inside our heart all gyan vairagya automatically will come inside the heart like like if we are just uh, p- pulling our ears apna matha apne aawaz automatically our head will uh, come so jeevo ka so in the same way all the jeevas jeevo ka jo swabhav hai the actual swarupa the actual nature of the jeeva prabhupad speaking that this nature of jeeva it's naturally there are uh, two types of things one is the activeness and one is sleepiness so he they can't actually uh, recognize this so the nature of the jiva actually has in their uh, swarup has bad and mukt state bonded state and freeness is there in their uh, in their uh, swarupa this is the kirtan much
दिस कीर्तन एक्चुअली इट इज रिटर्न इन दिस कीर्तन एवरीथिंग ओनली बाई सेवा बाई हैविंग द सेवा विच आर इट्स नॉट इन साइड अवर हार्ट दैट्स वाई देर आर लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वॉट वी आर फीलिंग आउटसाइड एक्सटर्नली सो भगवत विद रिमेम्बरेंस ऑफ भगवान दिस इज देयर इन द परमानेंट स्टेट इन साइड द नेचर ऑफ द स्वरूप ऑफ जीवा सो भक्ति इज अ नेचुरल फंक्शन ऑफ अर ऑफ अर सोल एंड भगवत जी टू रिमेंबर भगवान इज ऑलवेज देयर इन साइड द स्वरूप ऑफ जीवा नेचुरली प्रेजेंट सो भगवत भगवत धर्म दैट इज टू रिमेंबर भगवान इट इज ऑलवेज देयर प्रेजेंट परमानेंटली इन द नेचर ऑफ द जीवा बट वी हैव टू फाइंड दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड दैट वाई बिकॉज बिकॉज बाय डूइंग साधना भक्ति स्लोली स्टडली स्लोली स्टडली बाय द अंदर अंडर द अनुगटे ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव इट विल वी विल विल फाइंड दैट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ भक्ति इट इज रिटर्न देयर अबाउट द स्वरूप ऑफ द जीवा एज वेल इट इज ब्यूटिफुली रिटर्न देयर एज वेल नेक्स्ट वीक आई विल जस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट दिस पॉइंट and uh, we will just be speaking about uh, shri the instructions of uh, shikshashtakam of gorang mahaprabhu which is the actual summary of by which the instructions of gorang mahaprabhu cannot be expressed and cannot be uh, uh, cannot be measured and cannot be understand so this kind of up- amrit uh, this is just like uh, just uh, curdled like an ocean manthan uh, we have done and so that we can understand the instructions of gorang mahaprabhu sudur lava chandra anando visheshvatma shri krishna karshani chausa ye bhakti ka definition so this is the actual definition of bhakti agle hafta is we uh, next week i will just discuss about this point so in the jiva swarupa their bhagavat smriti that uh, remembrance of bhagwan is always there uh, permanently inside the swarupa of jiva and bhogan mukhi which are that they just want to do bhog that because of that uh, we cannot remember we cannot find that uh, uh, remembrance of bhagwan inside our heart in the swarup of jiva bhagwan ka dham naam bhagwan's naam dham parivar vishishti murti everything whatever is there it is uh, only possible by the seven mukh jiva who just want to do seva of bhagwan everything will get expressed in front of him who just wants to do bhagwat seva only by the that jiva who just want to serve krishna uh, in front of that uh, only it is expressed by krishna bhagwan naam bhagwan dham bhagwan leela parikar everything when all our material sense organs are just uh, asking are very thirsty for uh, krishna seva the swarup of the jiva if we just want to uh, understand that if we just get the in depth analysis of the swarup of the jiva in that we can find there is no account of profit and loss there is this is only possible in uh, material nature only but not in the swarup of the jiva uh, no profit and no loss will be there in the jiva swarup whatever the uh, whole world will go into hell what what it concern to you prabhupad already speaking this point prabhupad ji ne bataya apna upadesh in in the upadesh amrit in his upadesh amrit prabhupad always speaking about this point duniya jal raha that the whole world is going into water and it's go in fire whatever what it concern to you do your own bhajan whatever it's going and going and coming whatever uh, wh- what it concern to you no jiva can uh, protect the other jiva the whole bank amount inside your bank cannot uh, cannot it's not yours also it will not help you to get bhagwat bhagwat smriti if you want to go out uh, if you have to leave this body then you have to go kon kisko sahajog kar sakta hai 
नो वन कैन सेव एनी वन नो वन कैन सेव एनी वन इफ समन हैज टू गो हैव टू लिव इज बॉडी ही हैज टू लिव इज बॉडी नो वन कैन सेव एनी वन द बॉन्टेड सोल ऑलवेज इन देयर स्वरूप ऑल दिस मटीरियल मटीरियल थॉट्स काम क्रो लो मध मसर ऑल दिस शर्ड वेक आर देयर बिकॉज ऑफ दैट देयर स्टेज इज इन बॉन्डेड कंडीशन इट इज नथिंग हु कैन स्टॉप दिस ओनली इट इज पॉसिबल टू स्टॉप बाय only then uh, if he is wandering around the whole brahman only when he will get the bhakti lata beej inside his heart only then it is possible for him to understand uh, how to get out of this material nature kare rokun sevan kirtan jale kare sechan only joy by uh, you have to just uh, nourish it by watering it with the shravan and kirtan only then uh, it is possible then out out of that seed one sprout will come out and uh, slowly and steadily it will get uh, the bhakti lata bhakti latikas and all those bhakti latika those all those bhakti stems uh, this will without the support of the uh, without the support of anything uh, to those bhakti lata like we have to get the support of guru vaishnav only then it is possible that we can cross that uh, river of virja and after cutting that virja river we can just uh, go towards to that vaikunth jagat after that we can just go to uh, golok vrindavan and under that that fruit of bhakti will just fall on to the lotus feet of lord krishna i have already talked about in the previously also about bhakti if there is anya vilas inside our heart then bhakti can't be possible and uh, and with the anna, anna bilas inside the heart bhajan cannot be started in anarth yukta vastha when anarth is there inside our heart it is not possible to start actual hari bhajan prabhupad already have uh, written about this point that when anarth is there inside your heart krishna bhajan is not possible at all it is uh, krishna bhajan is very far distant but krishna bhajan is not started in anarth yukta avastha so it is not possible to do hari bhajan in anarth yukta if any sajya guru is speaking that rupanuga bhajan raganuga bhajan is uh, can be done in anarth yukta avastha then they are just speaking lie they are lying actually they are not speaking they are about that absolute truth that gyan which is uh, uh, which is uh, anukul which gives nourishment to bhakti that we have to just leave mayavadi gyan and we have to take uh, bhakti gyan that's why it is written gyan the uh, it is not written gyan anuvadi shunyam that it should be without gyan and what is uh, favorable for krishna bhajan we have to just accept that but which nourishes krishna bhakti inside our heart krishna bhajan ka liye jo pushti dayak which nourishes krishna bhajan that is uh, useful for us we have to take that fayda dayak hai which is beneficial for krishna bhajan that is not uh, avoided we have to take that that's why it is written gyan karmadi anavrutam that's why it is not written shunyam ये बात को लेके बहुत सारी चर्चा हो सकता है देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ डिस्कशंस कैन बी डन ऑन दिस टॉपिक इसका ऊपर जो हम भक्ति रसामृत सिंधु दैट आई ऑलरेडी भक्ति रसामृत सिंधु इट इज रिटन लाइक इन द भक्ति रसामृत सिंधु इन अ समरी फॉर्म द एक्चुअल समरी द समरी फॉर्म इफ आई वांट टू डिस्कस भक्ति रसामृत सिंधु इटसेल्फ इज अ समरी बट स्टिल the top most summary the what we got in bhakti samvad i just will discuss that anukulya anukulya what is the meaning of that word anukulya where uh, bhagwan gets satisfied that is called anu, anukulya 
इन जनरल इफ वी जस्ट वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस दिस टॉपिक स्वाभाविक रूप से इन जनरल इफ वी डिस्कस दिस टॉपिक then the actual meaning comes out that which satisfies lord krishna anugolya means we have to uh, seek the satisfaction of uh, guru varg and uh, bhagwan and guru varg means uh, already have given as anugula means anugolo means radha rani we have to do the seva under the guidance of radha rani to serve krishna that is the actual meaning there is uh, no doubt about it but actual meaning of the anukala if we take uh, if we just define that in different angles then that will become a big mahabharat i am just giving you one indication regarding this at the at the in kartik in kartik month we can just discuss about uh, that in uh, bangla katha and i am very happy that uh, bangla katha is uh, not going on from very long time but now we will be able to do it in kartik month and anukul means that just to satisfy krishna that is called anukulya whatever seva is done but if i just give one tark on that that if jain jain vijay why they have come into this material world what is the importance what is the actual hidden uh, thing behind the jai vijay they have come into material world i'll just speak about that also there is only one uh, possibility that they have gone jai vijay that that bhagwan wants to actually taste the virya uh, ras because bhagwan is swayam sampurna he is not incomplete he is actually complete but still he want to uh, just taste that virya ras because he just gets the desire that he want to get taste that virya virya ras so uh that jai vijay just pray to krishna that o oh krishna uh, if you have some if you have some transcendental desire uh, inside your heart that i that we have to uh, complete it and you do one thing you just uh, send us to this material world so that we can just uh, fight with you because with you nobody can fight a person from the market can't uh, fight with you only uh, with you if you if if someone wants to fight with you only your parshads can fight with you so whatever mukti they have got is all jai vijay only so they have got swarupa mukti actually jai vijay so by the prayer of jai vijay chatusan the curs given by chatusan to jai vijay it is just uh, uh, krishna just speaking to jai vijay that you have to go to this material world by the curs of chatusan the meaning uh, to the meaning is that the jai and vijay have just come to satisfy uh, bhagwan shri krishna because bhagwan shri krishna wants to uh, taste that uh, uh, virya ras because it is only possible for the parsha to satisfy krishna uh by give by just giving taste uh, to krishna with virya ras so one question comes here that and if uh, if uh, someone is going to give that anugatya shabd anukulya shabd that uh, that they are just uh, 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 fighting with krishna and they are just uh, putting that gatha on the chest of krishna that is anukulya at that point because krishna wants to uh, because krishna wants to uh, relish that virya ras but the bhakt can't uh, but the bhakt can't uh, uh, can't able to see this thing and uh, they will feel very heavy by seeing this when uh, uh, the gada is when uh, uh, jain vijay are just uh, uh, putting their gada on the chest of krishna the bhakt can't uh, what you say bhakt can't bhakt can't manage to see that they can't uh, they don't have this patience that they can see bhagwan in this uh, uh, in this situation that someone is killing bhagwan but in actual it is not possible that bhagwan could get killed so ghat mera upar prahar kare aur main bhi 
so this is the thing so so if so if uh, if it is the actual meaning of anukulya so it is not uh, anukulya so when where bhagwan is getting satisfied uh, that is the actual meaning of anukulya so vaikunth parshad uh, are just motivated by bhagwan that you ha- that i just want to uh, get the virya ras aswadan that's why i just want to uh, fight with you but the actual general bhakt they don't want that uh, anyone can uh, do can fight with bhagwan and the blood will come out of bhagwan's body so they can't uh, uh, see this so second uh, meaning of the anukulya means jaike uh, yashoda maiya his gopal gopal the by the behavior of shodha maiya gopal gopal is not feeling happy and he is just angry with her because yashoda maiya has just uh, left her uh, bal gopal on the floor and uh, she just uh, ran there just to see the milk uh, boiling out but the uh, gopal was just uh, taking breast milk and while his uh, breast milk was incomplete then uh, so is it possible that yashoda maiya have that bhakti because yashoda maiya have just uh, fell uh, gopal on the floor and she has just uh, gone to uh, uh, take the milk of the chula cash chula but bhagwan is actually is not feeling well he just uh, break all the matka and all the curd and milk just uh, go out and just uh, spill on the floor so this is a very in depth analysis about the shuddha bhakti we will just discuss about this point as well i'll we, today we will just discuss about how we have to satisfy krishna uh, what is anukulya means there are lot of definitions of anukulya as well bhakti bhakti means bhaj bhaj means bhaj means to serve seva means to uh, we always have to satisfy the sukh uh, the happiness of the sevya vastu without thinking about the sevya vastu whatever bhukti mukti etc we have demands we just have to leave that we have to cho- all uh, demands we have to kick and we have to kick cover anya bhlas it is all comes in the category of anya bhlas so the sevya vastu so to serve the sevya vastu and to just thinking of the complete satisfaction of that sevya vastu and to just kick the demands of bhukti mukti and all those uh, happiness uh, uh, coming from uh, those under abhilash categories we just have to uh, leave those whatever uh, uh, whatever consciousness developed by bhukti mukti we just have to leave that and we have to satisfy the complete satisfaction of krishna that is called uh, anukulya the anya vilas shunyam this word uh, mahaprabhu uh, has not written this anya vilasita shunyam he has told not anya vilas shunyam no 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 because anya vilas shunyam we can't speak this by speaking this word the root cause of that anya vilas so that's why it is written anya vilasita the root cause we can't cut that so that's why it is the anya vilasita that's why it is so that we can cut the root cause so there is difference between the anya vilas and the anya vilasita there is lot of difference between them anya bhilash means it is there already that we don't have any demand other than other than that and what do you mean by anya bhilashita the root cause will get cut the orientation of anya bhilash is anya bhilashita so that we can uh, completely eradicate the whole root word that's why anya bhilashita we are using it why because anya vilash if we will speak then uh, by speaking anya vilash it means that anya vilash will go but another an, another anya vilash will come inside so that's why that anya vilashita word is used so that if one anya vilash has gone other anya vilash can come again so that's why anya vilashita that word is uh, uh, used so that by root cause 
everything is cut and it is so that we can get the advantage of that anya bilasita shabd so that everything is cut from the root cause so that we can completely satisfy the bhagwan krishna so that this anya bilasita word is used because there is no anya bilas inside it bhagwan actually uh, is giving bhakti to those all those bonded souls like a treasure he is always busy in giving that a hidden treasure of a prema bhakti to the to the bhakt all to all those bonded souls every time every time he, every fraction of second he wants to give that's why all those uh, sadhus and guru vishnu uh, the bhagwan has already appointed them to go to this material world so that the bonded soul can understand that they can just get association of those guru vishnu pure guru vishnu and by just associating with them they can just understand what 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 can happen all those bonded soul will uh, uh, if some uh, if that pure guru vishnu they just get association with them then they will get that actual anand of uh, krishna prem rasa because because bhakti lati bhakti lata seed will get inside established inside their heart and they will just get maturity and nourishment of the bhakti towards krishna bhakti lata what means that whatever abhilasha the demand the nature of the actual swarupa in in their jiva that is to serve uh, krishna completely with full satisfaction so bhakti lata means whatever the seva bhav of the pure guru vishnu what is there inside their heart that bhav when it is transferred into that bonded soul that is called bhakti lata that is actually the seed of bhakti lata so in this by shravan and kirtan they can just nourish that bij so that from that seed one plant will just come out and slowly and steadily it will get flowers and definitely slowly steadily they will get fruits so that is called bhakti lata bij bhakti lata seed so bhagwan it is a desire of bhagwan that uh, all those new bonded souls in every bonded soul this bhakti seed should get this bhakti lata bhakti seed and they just get attracted towards me Uh, towards me and they should get uh, the tra- transcendental seva uh, they, they they should get the seva of the transcendental world that is the actual desire of krishna but uh, in the jeevas by by the prasad of maya devi by the kripa of maya devi it is lot of uh, prasadam of maya devi is present inside their heart so that's why their false ego will not go very easily because uh, this false ego is the root cause of uh, because of that uh, this uh, false ego is not going so that's why that's why bhakti to get bhakti is not possible at all but it in sandarbh jeev ko swami pad already spoke in by just uh, taking the um, uh, from the shastras that in every every bonded soul bhagwan always have this desire to give prema bhakti to each and every bonded soul bhagwan always wants that each and every bonded soul should get prema bhakti and they should always uh, come to me and they should uh, just uh, uh, exchange uh, prema with me and they always want to they always uh, uh, serve me and always uh, they should enjoy with me and i should also enjoy with them this is the desire of bhagwan so that's why jeev ko swami pad already speaking about this point in sandarbha that uh, the jeeva swarup is uh, nitya krishna das he is the uh permanent das of krishna which is actually is now lost so that that sambandh that relationship with krishna is actually lost when the father is just uh, uh, separated from uh, his son when the father is just separated from his son okay that is not a problem but it doesn't mean that there is no relationship between father and uh, son it doesn't mean that the father is just separated from son but it doesn't mean that the father and son have no relationship with them that 
actual relationship is just lost it is not like that when father will just meet with his son then that uh, relationship will get uh, uh, then that relationship will get uh, uh, then that relationship between the son and father will again uh, be discovered so jeev goswami pad in the sandarbh already speaking about that that in priti sandarbh he is chila uh, jeev goswami 65th anuched he has written that what the jeev goswami has told in this priti sandarbha jeev goswami has told that aladinya evo kapi sarva nandati shaini prithir nityam bhakta brindeshu eva nikhipa mana bhagavat pritta khaya vartate atah stadanu bhavena sri bhagavan gopi simad bhakteshu प्रीति अतिशयम भजता इति अतएव तत्सुखेन भक्तो भगवतः परस्परम आवेशम आहो इसके द्वारा बाय दिस जीव को स्वामी वांटेड टू स्पीक दैट ही वांटेड टू प्रूव दैट हलादिनि वृत्ति भगवान इज ऑलवेज व्हाट इज भक्ति भक्ति इज एक्चुअली द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द हलादिनी वृत्ति हलादिनी शक्ति द फॉर्म ऑफ हिलादिनी शक्ति इज एक्चुअली भक्ति द कृपा ऑफ हलादिनी शक्ति ऑफ भगवान बॉन्डेड जीवा इज गेटिंग द कृपा ऑफ हलादिनी शक्ति इफ दे गेट द कृपा ऑफ दैट हलादिनी शक्ति देन दे विल गेट भक्ति फॉर श्योर so this haladini vritti haladini shakti there is one vritti of haladini shakti there is always present uh, permanently with bhagwan and they are just then bhagwan is just throwing that haladini vritti uh, in all the angles all 360 degree that bhakt and bhagwan there is one uh, prem relationship one kind of induction uh, of prem is there there is one kind of uh, uh, drowsiness nasha is there in between bhakt and uh, bhagwan and jeev goswami pad has told that this is just the uh, this is the this is the vritti of haladini shakti eternally present uh, bhagwan is uh just uh, transferring uh, towards the all the bhakta and all the bonded soul but uh, those bhakts uh, and that is that is called bhagavat priti which is actually thrown by bhagwan in the form of haladini priti towards their bhakt and uh, just to get uh, anubhav realization about this uh, uh, bhagavat priti bhagwan also bhagwan also becoming the result of the bhakt priti and bhagwan and bhakts also have that relationship of bhagwat priti with bhagwan so in the same way there there is a relationship of prema between the bhakt and the bhagwan banke 
automatically and that relationship will uh, uh, stay with that bhakt and bhagwan now question comes that now this question comes that jeev ko swami pad is just telling us this point ladini nami koi shakti sarvanandaadishai vritti ko that the ladini vritti or continuously bhagwan is just throwing it uh, towards the bhakt every time continuously bhagwan is throwing towards the bhakt now the question comes that that those who are bonded soul who are abhakt who are not devotees of krishna how they can take that and the bhakt only can take it bhakt is already bhakt so he he has that relationship with bhagwan he has found that relationship so that's why it is possible for him to just collect that haladani vritti bhagwan by the by the kripa of haladani shakti those people those bonded souls if they get kripa of haladani shakti then only they can uh, they are able to take that haladani vritti inside their heart bhakt bindu shikshya bhagwan to bhakt bindu ko nikha kare bhakt bindu to bhakt hai bhakt vrindar already bhakt only but uh, what is the point of throwing that haladani vritti towards bhakt there is one question which comes in our inside our heart that uh, the bonded souls inside their heart inside the heart of a bonded soul swarup shakti vritti is already activated inside their heart but uh, this is this partiality of bhagwan is also not good because uh, bhagwan actually is throwing to bhakt so there are actually countless jivas so bhagwan can't give this prema bhakti to uh, those bonded souls so jeev ko swami pad is uh, uh, saying that uh, bhagwan is already throwing that uh, haladini vritti to each and every one even to the bonded soul as well what is the use of just throwing it towards a bhakt why not uh, throwing that haladini vritti to the bonded soul vrindavan das thakur ji always speaking in uh, this shloka that uh, whosoever is doing bhajan or not of krishna they are all vaishnav swarup vichar karne se tamam bhajan they will just uh, uh, try to remember the swarup of their uh, their actual swarup that all are vaishnav every every jeev every jeev is a nitya das of krishna only if they can understand that so vrindavan das thakur ji already speaking this one point that every jeev is a krishna das only every jeev every jeev knowingly unknowingly he is doing seva someone is doing maya seva someone is doing bhagavat seva so so but the jiva who is doing maya seva direct indirectly it is bhagwat seva only bhagwan seva only because uh, if uh, no one will do the seva of uh, maya devi maya maya tatva then whatever that uh, srishti prapanch lila bhagwan is going to uh, do is going on somebody will become a thief and somebody will become police someone will become a uh, king and someone will become their followers so this is the diversity of bhagwan's leela so knowing and unknowing every jiva is doing seva of bhagwan indirectly he is doing a seva of bhagwan and directly it is actually the seva of bhagwan only so this point actually so what is the actual definition what is the point regarding this that the haladini vritti shakti in each and every jiva he is throwing it he is throwing towards each and every jiva that haladini vritti but the heart of uh, bonded soul because of the mixture of rajogun and tamogun because of that this uh, this vritti of haladini shakti actually the bhagwan which is falling on their heart it is it is not getting any any entry in the heart of that bonded jiva because of the mixture of rajogun and tamogun and because of that and what that haladini vritti jo bhagwan has just thrown it 
इन टू द हार्ट ऑफ द जीवा बिकॉज ऑफ द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ रजोगुण एंड तमोगुण एंड भगवान इज जस्ट थ्रोइंग दैट लाल बिटी फॉर इन्फिनिटी पीरियड सो इट इज नॉट गोइंग इन साइड द हार्ट ऑफ द जीवा बिकॉज ऑफ द मिक्सचर ऑफ रजोगुण एंड तमोगुण इन साइड देयर हार्ट सो वाई वेन इट इज नॉट गेटिंग इन साइड देयर हार्ट then uh, i bhagwan has taken decision that okay i will uh, just uh, send uh, bhakt devotees my devotees uh, in this material world and by the shastra vichar and hari katha kirtan shravan prem prem and everything all this related to haladani vritti through bhakt they will just transfer it into bonded soul so that's why in bhagwat ji mahaprabhu i have already uh, spoken about this shloka agar silasya sudukitasya anugrahai ho charan tinunam bhutani bhavyani janatanas yaad hai na you already have remembered this shlok no vimukha sadaiva agar silasya sudukitasya anugrahai ho charan tinunam सो इन दिस वे भगवान बाई हिज ओन विल ही इज जस्ट सेंडिंग बाई जस्ट ऑल दिज रजन तमोगुणी बॉन्डेड सोल्स दोज बॉन्डेड सोल विद फुल ऑफ रजोगुण एंड तमोगुण दे जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू गेट रेड ऑफ दोज Uh, they are bonded state. In order to get rid of that, they are just sending. Bhagwan is just sending a pure Guru Vishnu on this uh, earth. So they are just the messenger of that Haladini Vritti, those pure Guru Vishnu. And by just uh, hearing the Shastra Vichar from them, and just by taking their uh, Kripa from them, uh, bonded souls can become uh, can become Bhagwat Unmukh. but sometimes they can can't become but mostly they will become when they will not become then they have to just uh, go in this in this uh, cycle of birth and death always they have to just go on if they can't understand that those who are bhagwat vimukh uh, jeevas they cannot they cannot understand the point what pure guru vishnu always want to speak but if they have very good luck because of their previous sanskar if they have aho bhagya se kabhi agar mahapurush ka if by they can get the association of a pure sadhu and they can get the association of maha pure mahapurush if they can get it then in their heart definitely the sanskar of bhakti will definitely get inside their heart it is not at all uh, impossible it is always possible to get that you know, bhakti sanskar inside their heart and if that bhakti sanskar will just stay inside their heart then they will just get more utkantha to do more and more bhakti and they will just want to serve more and more uh, they just want to serve bhagwan more and more in different ways if they will get shraddha uh, in bhagwat uh, bhagwat katha then they can't stay in this uh, karma marg and uh, gyan marg because to get uh, uh, your heart in because to get uh, your heart favorable in the shravan kirtan of hari katha then it means that definitely they will get uh, that uh, topmost anand non nirvinno nat shakta bhakti yoga asya siddhi ओनली बाय भगवत कृपा इट इज पॉसिबल दैट ऑल दोज बॉन्डेड सोल विल गेट कृपा एंड दे विल जस्ट बिकम भगवत उन्मुख एंड दे विल गेट दे विल गेट दैट फीलिंग टू डू मोर एंड मोर साधु संघ एंड जस्ट बाय डूइंग द एसोसिएशन ऑफ द प्योर साधु ओनली देन ओनली दैट भक्ति सीड विल गेट इन साइड देर अदरवाइज इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल so the first step is that we they have to do satsang they have to do association of uh, association of sadhan and just by hearing hari katha they will just get diksha guru and by getting the diksha guru they will just uh, they will if they get some shiksha regarding how to do bhajan and all how to get uh, more anand in krishna bhakti who are just uh, in the line of shrot pantha who are always there in shrot pantha if they will just hear hari katha from them what will happen 
they will they will just get changed and they will just transformed into krishna bhakti so to get ruchi uh, in uh, bhagavat katha means that everything is done bhakti yog is then will become siddhi uh, will become siddh for him so it is uh, automatically who is getting uh, just uh, uh, taste in uh, bhagavat katha and they are just getting attraction towards bhagavat katha when there is a uh, tremendous attraction uh, for bhagavat seva then uh, in the 11th canto bhagwan is already speaking in shrimad bhagavatam 11th canto automatically uh, they will get uh, a taste for uh, my katha and they will get more shraddha for my seva and, and they will uh, just get out of this uh, material they will not get uh, attracted from this material uh, world neither they are uh, not getting attraction from this material world and nor they are uh, don't want to leave this they are not uh, hating the material nature as well in the time of prabhupad also also it is happened that there is uh, there is one brahmachari he always used to see mata ji and just want to insult them oh what kind of uh, why they have come in front of me so like they always you always used to get angry if some mata ji just come in front of him then he always used to get angry then prabhupad used to see this and always uh, someone has told prabhupad about this that uh, uh, when mata ji comes in front of me he becomes very angry then prabhupad speaking that uh, he will not stay in this bhajan life definitely he will uh, get off because he is getting attraction towards the mata ji that's why he is uh, giving uh, um, or doing all foul language because if he is uh, if he is getting that bhagavat kripa then automatically he will not be having that uh, uh, male and female attraction and he will not be getting that darshan of male and female so it is not possible so why when mata ji coming in front of me why he is becoming doing uh, becoming angry because it is some weak point is there inside him that's why he is uh, uh, angry with them and he is using foul language so in the uh, era of prabhupad also it was there someone mata ji with the child uh, she just came and brahmachari was just getting angry so brahma ji prabhupad speaking that definitely this brahmachari will be getting uh, the sansar because he is getting hatred towards that mata ji so that hatredness means he is having that weakness towards mata ji towards that female so neither there will be attraction nor there will be hatredness towards uh, this material nature that is actually called yukta vairagya so for them only bhakti you can get said if uh, those persons who don't have any attraction for material world neither they have any hatredness for material world because they have yukta vairag whatever they get they just uh, want to satisfy krishna just want to give you to krishna whatever mother father my child whatever is there everything we will just uh, use it for krishna seva only so the first satsang actually so in the first time in the life when we will be doing satsang that uh, satsang is uh, that padma pradarsha guru uh, will definitely help us in getting that satsang that first satsang there can be one reaction inside his heart by the first satsang which he'll get so it, so that is why the glorification of satsang we can't speak so infinity glorification is there for satsang so so first satsang uh, that is then then one will get the sushana padma darshanam guru 
there is he is getting some taste and when he just want to get more satsang then there is also one uh, desire to get more satsang then he is actually asking for more satsang then what happen then uh, he will get uh, the association uh, of the sadguru pad padma he just want to get associated under the uh, lotus feet of uh, guru pad padma and after getting the uh, lotus feet of guru pad padma then under uh, when he will be doing the sadhu sang then bhajan kriya will come then bhajan kriya will go on and uh, and hari karta hari katha kirtan will go on and after bhajan kriya what have, and uh, all those anarth will get destroyed and after anarth nivriti when all anarth are destroyed then that nishtishta rati will he will develop rati and then he has slowly steadily he will develop after rati he will just definitely slowly steadily by gradual promotional procedure he will uh, definitely he will get prema So in this way, so what Bhagwan is actually throwing the Thiladini Vritti uh, inside the heart of everyone because the Raju and Tamagun is there inside the heart, so there is no uh, space uh, where Thiladini Vritti can uh, sit. So because of that, Thiladini Vritti just bounces back to Krishna. So, but by doing association of Sadhu, uh, it is possible. Slowly and steadily, it will definitely happen. One so sadhu sang will he, he just get immediately, and the second sadhu sang, uh, that second sadhu sang is done purposely. That I like sadhu sang, so that's why he's getting the association of diksha guru, uh, and he's getting diksha in his life. So that is purposeful. Guru Padashre, and slowly, steadily, gradually, he will get uh, promotion in his uh, bhajan life. So in this way, the, the gradually he will get promotion in his bhajan life, and uh, just and it is the upadesh of all the shastras that uh, every every jeev will do the karma, every bonded soul will do karma. He will do karma up till that time when he will not get any dis- detachment from that karma. He is doing karma. He is doing karma, but he is not feeling detestful now. Because if he he will stop doing karma, then that will not be the uh, that will not be the uh, problem solver. Uh, though, so whosoever wants to do what that is according to their or varna and ashram, so it is uh, like that what he is doing and what he is not doing it is all according to like he can't stop doing that karma so he has to do that karma uh, if he is not getting that uh, uh, taste for detestfulness for that karma only up till that point he has to uh, do that uh, karma of this material world I have already told this about this point. He is doing karma. But at the same time, if you are doing giving him sannyas, it's not possible. Either his heart should be pure enough so that he can get sannyas. Or else you have to just uh, make sure that his uh, life should be dedicated to Guru Vishnu Bhagwan. Otherwise, he is doing uh, karma. You just to give him the guidance through Hari Katha. That in karma arpan also there is some kind of false ego there. That I have done this. So <clears throat> this is the gradual uh, procedure of the shastra. And as we do go on doing karma, I have already spoken in the Gita Pravachan. If somebody uh, stops uh, his karma, then his uh, gradual promotion in the bhajan life will get stopped. So let him do this karma. But uh, gyani, but all those gyanis, those who are in the adhikar of doing karma, they should remain in the in that uh, karma bhumika. And those adhikaris who have just, they are just actually uh, telling him how to do uh, bhajan. And slowly, steadily, what happened that karma will get uh, arpan, that is surrender onto the lotus feet of Sri Krishna and as a result, uh, it will become bhakti. 
so slowly steadily he will uh, develop gyan uh, as he will uh, surrender his own karma material karma to lotus feet of guru vishnu bhagwan and if he doesn't have the realization also then and he is jumping towards to take sanyas then it is not possible because he has that material conception in his uh, mind and uh, uh, he is just getting sanyas which is not at all good for the whole world so that's what krishna is speaking bhakti mohan thakur also speaking this point that that if all this uh, material world all the tyagi vyakti all the sanyasis are increasing day by day bhakti mohan thakur speaking this point it's very important that if all the sanyasis in this material world are increasing day by day then it means that it is uh, it is one one game of maya this is definitely one game of maya you you don't get into this so in this way uh, slowly steadily if we'll go forward uh, we just go on doing karma that material karma and uh, you has to just surrender that karma to lotus feet of guru vishnu bhagwan and slowly steadily by the other shacharan of that pure guru vishnu uh, he will uh, uh, just uh, get gyan that realization power will get inside his heart and definitely it will uh, grow on uh, increasing there will be some improvement and he will uh, go Uh, in his uh, spiritual life so bhagavatam is speaking this you don't stop him don't stop him just go that he should go on doing the karma no nirvete to yavata mat katha savana do basatya yavat na jayate tab tak ye up till that point when he is not getting that nirved when he is not uh, uh, fully getting out of this material world and uh, up till that point when he has don't didn't get shraddha on to the bhagavat katha of shri krishna up till that point he has to do perform karma when he will get uh, uh, when he will get uh, uh, 100% purity on to bhagavat katha then uh, there is no question then nobody can stop him uh, definitely he will just uh, proceed in his krishna bhajan forward up till that point he has to do karma i have already told it uh, uh, many times that uh, this gita upadesh at the end of that gita upadesh that is uh, that is antim shlok the last shloka of uh, gita this shlok is is the last step of uh, that is the introductory uh, step towards the bhajan life in order that we should uh, get into the atma atma bhajan so that we can understand what is actual bhajan so what is actually atma dharma so what is the way in the way of the atma dharma when he is already uh, pravished in that atma dharma then he can understand what is the actual hidden treasure of the gaudiya math slowly steadily he will definitely understand if he get the uh, uh, association of guru vishnu then definitely he will understand then he will just uh, uh, go out of this anarthi yukta avastha and uh, then he will in anarthi yukta avastha madhur ras bhajan is uh, to do raganuga rupanuga bhajan is not possible at all prabhupada already speaking this point there is one person who is uh, not well he is uh, actually uh, he is not feeling he is ill actually and uh, there the prescription what uh, the medicines and uh, the doctor has given whatever he has to take in while eating whatever prescribed to him it's written that you have to drink this much water you have to this much uh, lemon you have to you have to take this much roti you have to this much rice all these chapati you just have to you have to take this much 200 ml milk and so all this prescription what the doctor has given with the medicine to that uh, ill person that you don't have to eat uh, don't have to onion garlic don't have to take uh, uh, citrus fruits citrus things so in the morning you have to take this and in the evening you have to take this in the afternoon you have to take two chapati so you just need to uh, if you will if that person will not uh, uh, follow the doctor what he has prescribed then he will definitely uh, become more ill 
सो इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड द गौड़िया मठ प्रणाली सो इन अनर्थयुक्त अवस्था इट इज़ नॉट पॉसिबल टू डू रूपानुग रागानुग भजन आई विल डेफिनेटली जस्ट स्पीक अबाउट दिस नेक्स्ट वीक एज वेल दैट इन अनर्थयुक्त अवस्था का इट इज़ नॉट पॉसिबल रस भजन मधुरस भजन इज नॉट नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल इट इज़ नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल प्रभुपाद जी इज गिविंग वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस प्रिस्क्रिप्शन दैट द इल पर्सन इज गेटिंग फ्रॉम द डॉक्टर he has to follow the prescribed medicines and the eating whatever uh, given by the doctor so, whatever the restrictions given by the doctor to that uh, person ill person surely so surely for the shastravan vyakti who is always a healthy man who is very powerful for him this uh, kind of uh, eating is not prescribed for that person it's only prescribed for that ill person so prabhupad ji is speaking this but the sahajya acharya all they are speaking that oh you can take everything and you can just do whatever you want so by just uh, not following prabhupad and not following the gaudiya guru parampara they are actually just uh, they are actually just uh, uh, they are just actually uh, uh, rendering themselves that they are very big rupanugraganuga achare and they are just not following prabhupad and the, the lineage of shrotpantha as well so that is not good so they just want to exhibit this uh, all all this uh, they just want la puja pratishtha so that is not good at all because this will destroy the others as well 7 to 10 days before i was also speaking about this point that uh, as a very pondering person of this uh, material world that uh, bhaktivinu thakur that uh, why you are giving so much restriction so whoever want to come in god even let them come what to oh, survivor of the fittest will be the question for them whoever wants to uh, stay in god even they can stay otherwise uh, others can go who actually want to uh, if they do if they want to eat something like this they if they don't want to uh, stay survivor of the fittest will be stay there bhakti mohan thakur ke no 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 in the in the in the vishuddh prem vimal dharma of gorang mahaprabhu uh, those kind of people are not allowed because there should not be any kind of mixing in there nahi not at all there should not be any mixing because they should they will not be having any entry inside this bhajan field if they will uh, uh, trespasses will be prosecuted dr bhakti no thakur already speaking that okay dusht garu se sunn gwal acha of all the wicked cows it is better that there should be no cow in the whole uh, uh, gaushala those cows who are just wicked enough they should uh, not be allowed so this is the actual vichara bhakti no thakur bhakti no thakur actually the very important point what bhakti mohan thakur speaking so who can uh, go uh, the go up uh, over bhakti mohan thakur so if if some acharya has some la puja pratishtha have that uh, uh, smell inside his heart if he is just getting that uh, um, if he has deficiency in the shuddha gaudiya vaishnav and his uh, gaudiya vaishnava uh, uh, acharya ship is incomplete bhakti mohan thakur speaking that they are just uh, having uh, the nasha of that pratishtha inside them and uh, they are not following the shrot pantha actual shrot pantha and they are just making a new pathway of uh, their krishna bhajan and they are always thinking that uh, gaudiya bhajan is always uh, is always complete they is always think that gaudiya bhajan is always incomplete it is not at all complete so let us uh, make a new pathway which is more uh, feasible for all the people to follow and it is simple to follow we will just simplify the bhajan so that is not possible we have to those people who are just against uh, uh, gaudiya shuddha gaudiya bhajan and who are against the shuddha gaudiya pranali uh, they should not be allowed inside the gaudiya mart whatever whoever insulted the gaudiya shuddha gaudiya pranali pure gaudiya pranali desh will never be getting they will not be getting that nirmal brajras or prakrit brajras inside their heart never at all they will not get that 
they won't be able to get that nirmal braj prem ras their life is at risk their all their life is in great danger they don't know about that in rasamri sindhu every they are they are just uh, showing that they are following shri jeev goswami shamananda prabhu narottam das thakur jeev goswami bad vishwana chakravar krishna das kaviraj all these gurus are actually under the guru parampara under the, under the lineage of short panta they have the vishuddh bhav inside their heart so in order to maintain that they have just given their life for that jeev goswami bad at the end of his life uh, he is uh, just uh, speaking that Uh, like this uh, it should not happen that uh, in the name of rupanuga raganuga everyone is going in the opposite way so it should not be done that every gorya gorya varga we have just uh, told us that don't we have to go on the gorya guru pranali that which is pure enough and there should not be any mixing but nowadays in uh, i can't speak anything because everything mixing is going on so our we have to do the anugatya of the guru varga and we have to do harina mantra their guidance so we have to practice the 64 limbs of bhakti we have to uh, uh, get established in that under guru vishnu vasna and we and out of that nine fold of bhakti are uh, the topmost all these nine kinds of bhakti slime limbs of bhakti have already told under 64 limbs of bhakti or uh, nine other principles and under these nine principles bhakti naam sankirtan is the topmost of all the nine principles bhakti and by the association of naam sankirtan it should uh, nine principles nine limbs of bhakti should get established but in the anarth yukta vasta ras bhajan they are just establishing new new siddhant that uh, they can do rasa bhajan but it is not at all possible this is all they are saying that uh, in the parikya uh, rasa bhav is uh, the topmost and they all doing uh, uh, foolish preaching and they are just taking uh, two four uh, shlokas from the mahajans they are just describing this point in the opposite way to the person that they told that sanatan goswami but told this shila ji goswami but told this jeev goswami but told this so everything they are just uh, taking two four uh, shlokas from uh, the mahajans uh, padavali and they are just uh, taking it in a negative way just opposite way they are just describing it to the people so that is not a good point at all and they are giving them the uh, negative pathway towards hell so like this they are also so uh, rainaman swarup damodar all these five rasik bhaktas we are under their guidance they are they are just uh, preaching themselves they are showing themselves they are just under their guidance and they are just making the whole world going towards opposite uh, side that is not at all good they are just making uh, uh, with the kapat bhav they are doing all this uh, prabhupa speaking this that uh, with the desire he he is having this uh, desire that uh, okay gaudiya math is not uh, in is incomplete and they are taking the name of the guru varg and he is becoming lazy in describing the actual tatva siddhant which are to the people like mahar gorang mahaprabhu speaking that you can understand this point chaitanya chaitamrit it is written by gorang mahaprabhu is speaking that siddhant is very difficult to understand oh who can understand this siddhant vichar it, it it is not going inside our material mind so this kind of vichar is not good so if you will become a, like an ass then your whole life will be getting dis- will get destroyed uh, and you can't understand the actual tatva siddhant vichar it that's why it is written siddhant चेतन चरित अमृत डोंट गेट लेजी बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग द सिद्धांत विच आर इफ द सिद्धांत विच आर जस्ट गेटिंग इनसाइड द हार्ट देन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द इंस्ट्रक्शंस ऑफ गोरंग महाप्रभु इन एक्चुअल सिद्धांत बोलिया चित्ते ना करो अलस सिद्धांत बोलिया चित्ते ना करो अलस सिद्धांत बोल के बड़ा कठिन है व्हाट एवर सिद्धांत इज वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट व्हाट एवर व्हाट एवर दे वांट टू डू लेट अस डू लेट देम डू नो वरीज 
सिद्धांत विल नॉट टू डू एनी कंप्रोमाइज विद एनी वन एट ऑल बट इन द मॉडर्न मॉडर्न अरीना एवरी वन इज नॉट थिंकिंग ऑफ दिस पॉइंट एट ऑल सो वन इज दैट बाय बाय डिसाइडिंग टू डू अपराध बाय नॉट फॉलोइंग गुरु वर्ग इन टोटो एंड देर इज अनदर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हु आर लेजी दे डोंट नो एनी थिंग अबाउट सिद्धांत विचार ओ महाराज जी हैज टोल्ड अस दिस थिंग सो वी शुड वी वी शुड फॉलो दैट ओनली दे आर लेजी दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू फॉलो द एक्चुअल सिद्धांत विचार सो एंड देर आर सम अदर फुलिश पीपल एज वेल हु आर इग्नोरेंट एनफ एंड दे आर इन मोड ऑफ डार्कनेस दे आर इन अज्ञान एंड दे आर इन डार्कनेस एंड दे ऑलवेज थिंक दैट दिस इज ऑलवेज दिस इज वजह दे आर जस्ट चैंटिंग हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे हरे राम हरे राम राम हरे दे आर जस्ट डूइंग दिस दैट सेट दे आर थिंकिंग दैट टू स्टे इन डार्कनेस एंड इन अज्ञान इज एक्चुअल भजन एंड दोज हु आर परपजली हु जस्ट डोंट डो जस्ट वॉन्ट लाभ पूजा प्रतिष्ठा दे आर ऑल्सो दे आर सो देर आर थ्री काइंड ऑफ कैटेगरीज वॉट प्रभुपाद इज एक्सप्लेनिंग टू अस सो प्रभुपाद स्पीकिंग दैट इन द साधक अवस्था निर्जन भजन टू टू स्टे इन द रूम एंड टू स्टे इन वन प्लेस एंड टू डू हरे कृष्ण माला हरिनाम माला and to have that artificial uh, intelligence that uh, you are just uh, showing that you are doing uh, dam naam smaran it is just uh, artificial this is not actually bhajan this is not at all bhajan at all this is just an acting of bhajan this can't be bhajan because in this only punishment and punishment will be there nirjan bhajan leela smaran and then a bhav this is all possible for a siddh guru vishnu who are at the siddh stage because our sadhan is that hari naam sankirtan hari katha these are all sadhan for us but for them for siddh person this is sadhya because they are by naam sankirtan they are having darshan of bhagwan darshan of bhagwan's leela dham everything so it is possible for them so it is not uh, good to compare uh, yourself your situation with them so actual sadhu of the gaudiya math like they are just following the uh, upadesh of uh, shila rup goswami pad under the guidance of shrot pantha and under the guidance of shila shila bhakti sudan saraswati thakur prabhupad upadesh amrit every day they should read uh, one uh, page of upadesh amrit what prabhupad has written and daily he has to uh, he has to um, uh, read uh, chaitanya charitamrita otherwise chaitanya bhagavat otherwise he he can uh, go to hell and if he if he wants to become sadhya he can go to hell no worries so nirjan bhajan leela smaran and danya bhav it is all possible for siddha mahatma but it is not possible for us because it whatever is sadhan for us like naam sankirtan it is it is swayam sadhya vastu for the siddha mahatma mahajan siddha mahatma because by his taking uh, uh, darshan of uh, bhagwan naam parikar leela everything by naam sankirtan only he is taking that in his realization in his darshan because he has that darshan power inside him so just by taking uh, uh, just by doing drama in front of all the people that they are just showing that all kind of us satvik vikar inside their body they are just showing this bhava this is just actually this is not at all good there there are no chances that our anarth will get decreased there is no question of getting the anarth getting decreased but by this paddhati our in there will be rapid increment of the anarth inside our heart so all the sadhak kan they have to follow the rup upadesh amrit of shri upadesh amrit of shri rup goswami but they have to uh, believe in that and under their guidance they have to do uh, they have to get into the bhagavat karya so that uh, they can uh, they under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav they have to Uh, get the instructions of the up shri upadesh amrit of shila rup goswami pad and they should always think of different different kind of sevas inside their heart under their guidance of pure guru vaishnav because if they will not do then they will not get out of this uh, uh, the maya they will not get out of that they will not get out of the abhinivesh of maya 
without that so sambandh gyan actually if we discover our sambandh gyan with krishna if we discover that then automatically our diksha is successful if uh, with uh, with the uh, discovery of sambandh gyan if we are thinking that uh, we haven't got uh, we have got diksha and there is no sambandh gyan then uh, diksha is incomplete then under when our diksha is complete when we discover our sambandh gyan then automatically under guidance of guru vishnu uh, we will uh, just go ahead in our bhajan this is the actual procedure shila bhakti san saraswati ko swami thakur prabhupa ji also speaking shila bhakti siddhant saraswati ko swami thakur prabhupa ji ne sajjan to in sajjan tochani in sajjan toshin patrika he is speaking uh, in uh, under what is actually rupanug bhajan in this relation he has told that that he has written one thing that uh, rupanuk what is rupanuk how you can become rupanuk to become a rupanuk it is uh, you can get the actual uh, instruction you can uh, the instructions of gorang mahaprabhu shiksha ashtakam can get uh, uh, inside the heart of a bonded soul Uh, and uh, the glorification of god sundar can get inside the heart of the shuddha hriday the shuddha hriday of uh, bonded soul otherwise it is not possible prabhupada has already speaking a lot of times about this point that that we have to we we can't uh, uh, we have to follow rupa goswami we can't uh, stop following rupa goswami pad and who is actually making a new pathway apart from uh, what rup goswami has told then there will be always a mangal and there will be uh, always fall down for that person it is inevitable nobody can stop that prabhupada already speaking one point that th- uh, that person who is not following rup pad and who is not following the instructions of uh, rup goswami pad and whatever pathway he is uh, making new it is all destroyed nothing will remain whatever he will do whether he will uh, in the uh, all the in the material people all the bonded soul are thinking that oh he is good he is an actual acharya but whatever he will do apart from rup ko swami pad against rup ko swami then definitely he will become a fallen whatever uh, all the bonded soul can uh, give you all the la puja pratishtha that oh maharaj what you have done but if you will do apart from uh, not following rup ko swami the instructions then you will go to hell definitely saraswati ko swami thakur has told us about rishila rup ko swami pad under rupanugatya that in sajjan toshani patrika a lot of time that uh, to get the anugatya of shila rup ko swami pad to get the anugatya of the lotus feet of shila rup ko swami pad it is the mahima adarsh acharan etiquette of the siddhant vichar of gorang mahaprabhu can get uh, embedded inside the heart of a bonded soul of this there is no doubt to get shri rupanu ko to get ex, uh, to get to get away from the shri rupanu uh, anugatya uh, you will become like a aul baul and uh, sahajya darbe sai all this shri bhaja prakrit sahajya jati vaishnav jati gosai ha jor sahityik nagari ashank matavad different kind of you know doctrine different kind of doctrines uh, they are, are actually exhibited by different kinds of uh, uh, persons and they just want to make their uh, usefulness and all those uh, fallen souls they are in the form of the acharya nowadays and just uh, exhibiting themselves as acharya big acharya but actually they are number 1 uh, uh, fraud fra- 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 fraudsters and they are actually going against uh, gorang mahaprabhu whatever the pathway given by gorang mahaprabhu he they are actually going uh, against that pathway because they are always going uh, uh, indifferent uh, going di- on the different pathway and they are just making the whole uh, whole world uh, they are just uh, making them foolish 
they are just making uh, they are just putting dust in the eyes of the material people and they are just uh, uh, are running away from that prabhupada is speaking now that oh, pr- all those who are hearing oh sadhakas you have to do the acharan of oh, shri uh, gorang mahaprabhu under the guidance of shri rupa goswami pad you have to follow the uh, granth of shila rupa goswami pad you have to follow the upadesh amrit of shila uh, rupa goswami pad and you have to uh, follow the commentary of uh, all the mahajans of the commentary given by bhakti vinod thakur and all the other mahajans on rupa goswami pad and that's why it is written that that gorang mahaprabhu speaking to all the shuddha bhakts that that in order to follow uh, in order to preach the actual teachings of the gorang mahaprabhu you have to follow the uh, under you have to follow it under the guidance of rup goswami pad you have to uh, read the commentary etc of bhakti vinod thakur and prabhupad and all the other mahajans you have to read and follow that under the guidance of rup goswami pad and if you will go over rup goswami pad then definitely you will not get success in your raganuga bhajan what is the actual mool of sadhan bhakti prabhupad always speaking one point about this that that if some if all the persons are just going to fraud, make fraud with your with the with you and all the acharyas who just want to make uh, yourself uh, you uh, they want just want to make fraud of you then you have to understand this which are then uh, can it be possible that if a five year boy who is very innocent and if a innocent, even a even innocent boy of five years Uh, boy can also speak of God, but that in an earth you could do. It is not possible to do Rupanu Guru Bhajan. Prabhupada always speaking about this point that O oh, Mahadevan, all those bhaktas, just uh, uh, be careful and you understand this point. What I am speaking that uh, sadhan bhakti, the mool of sadhan bhakti is shraddha, and without shraddha, it is not possible that uh, sadhan bhakti can't be possible. It cannot be get started. so sa sa adav shraddha means you have to get shraddha before starting your sadhana bhakti tasmad krishna diksha di shikshanam adav shraddha to ye jo shraddha hai so this shraddha actually what it it's written there it's already uh, prabhupad already speaking about this point that uh, the mool vastu of sadhan bhakti is shraddha if there is no shraddha at all then sadhan bhakti cannot get started at all all those mahadevans please have your attention on this point that prabhupad bhakti mein thakur is speaking and the bha- and and the mool vastu of uh, bhav is rati and uh, prem uh, for prem bhakti is ras so all these three kind of different points actually that is uh, please uh, don't please understand this point very carefully otherwise all those fraudsters will they will say that in anarth yukta vastha raganuga rupanu bhaja in possible they will say they will just make you foolish so all those mahadevans please be attentive on this point that that sadhan bhakti mool vastu is shraddha and slowly steadily he will get uh, slowly slow improvement into in he'll get into bhav bhakti bhav bhakti mool is is bharati and uh, prem bhakti mool uh, vastu is ras so all these three principal stages of the bhakti and the platform of this bhakti you please don't uh, forget this so all the instructions of the gorang mahaprabhu and the uh, is already given by shri uh, shri rupa goswami pad in his shri, shri upadesh amrit is already explained and all the uh, and all the points of the bhakti rasa it is uh, my it is my request on to your lotus feet that you you construct try to build up your pure bhajan life isliye that's why prabhupad already speaking that 
that whatever the instructions given by Gorang Mahaprabhu and whatever the analytical instructions given by Shri Rupa Goswami Pada about the Bhakti Ras, if you can understand these points, then definitely you will uh, you will get the Shuddha Bhakti uh, life. You will get that. Shishi Bhakti Minot Thakur Ji Shri Bhakti Minot Thakur by the channel of the channel shown by Shri Bhakti Minot Thakur Bhakti Minot Thara that Rupanuk Dhara, there is no difference between them. What is Bhakti Minot Dhara? That is only Rupanuk Dhara. There is no difference between them. You have to be very careful on this point. So whatever the instructions given by Srila Rupa Goswami Pad uh, about the Shuddha Bhakti Ras. So if you have that desire to understand that Shuddha Bhakti Ras, then you try to build up a poor bhajan life. Bhakti Vinod Thakur already speaking this point. You have to follow the Bhakti Vinod Dhara. What we call the Bhakti Vinod Dhara. We have to follow that uh, Bhakti Vinod Dhara what is actually given by Bhakti Vinod Thakur to us. And all those Sahajya Bhaktis they are uh, they have a very uh, distinctive division what Bhakti Vinod Dhara is. They can't follow that Bhakti Vinod Dhara. And uh, they always uh, the Sahajya Bhakti what is the difference uh, of the Sahajya Dhara and the Bhakti Vinod Dhara. You try to understand this point. This is very important to understand. Un- under the name of Sadhu Sang, don't do any Asad Sang. Just try to do actual Sadhu Sang. That is actual Sadhu Sang. So that uh, you can follow the Bhakti Vinod Dhara and you uh, don't follow the Sahajya Dhara. That is actually Satsang. You have to uh, find the difference between these two points. We have to follow the that is the top uh, topmost kind of sadhu sang. If we can understand the difference between the two, this is my belief. This is my hundred percent confident that you will definitely get the association of bhakti no dhara. Then definitely you will stay in the rupanuga raganuga dhara. Otherwise, it is not possible. This is my 100% confident. Bhakti Vinod Thakur in his Vandana it is written. Gaur Shakti Sarupayo. It means that and of all the Rupanuga Gana, he is topmost. Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So Thakur Bhakti Vinod is. Uh, Rupanuga is from Rupanug Dhara. He is the Rupanug Acharya. The Achar, Prachar, other etiquette, whatever Bhakti Muthakur has established. We have to follow that. We have to. We only have to follow that. That's it. Don't go to any Sahajya Guru at all. Because you will get lost. Because Bhakti Muthakur is the actual Rupanug Acharya. Whatever the other etiquette uh, he has uh, established, we have to follow that only. We have to take the ashray of that. We have to take the shelter of that. And other, don't take any shelter of that, any uh, uh, fraud sadhu. Then definitely uh, you will get to understand that uh, you can't get uh, inside the uh, into the team of all the fraudsters. If you will take the shelter of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, then definitely you will uh, uh, get to understand that who is actual sadhu and who is a fraudster. Those who, then uh, they will uh, need to understand uh, uh, that what kind of idealism Bhakti Vinod Thakur has uh, shown us. Otherwise, we will get into the Panchakdal and we will just get destroyed. It is inevitable of this. There is no doubt about it. In the name of Bhakti, in the name of Shuddha Bhakti, they actually all all those prakri sahajiyas all those uh, fraudsters we don't have to get associated with them we don't uh, have to go uh, behind la puja pratishta because every person is going after it and they are just uh, 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 looming uh, looming behind that only they don't know what they uh, where they are going what they are doing what activities they are doing they don't know about that 
but prabhupad ji always speaking about this point the prabhupad ji speaking about one story that uh, that the tail of the dog is uh, uh, is uh, is dove tailed but uh, but if you apply ghee or something else in order to straighten it and my guru maharaj also uses it you cannot get it straight the tail of the dog whatever you will do it will not get straight so prabhupad also doing uh, giving one more example that there is one uh, raj hans uh, swan uh, he is explaining to the second uh, he is he is uh, taking all the other swans to manas sarovar and going towards the southern region and there also there is one rule that at a particular time you can see that uh, from where uh, from all the uh, uh, birds and uh, all the birds uh, they are just uh, going to one place and when the winter season is over then they are just going uh, to the other place so i was also saying from where they are going so one speaking that uh, maharaj they will come and they are going to the other place so that's why all those uh, raj hans swans i am uh, prabhupad always used to give this uh, uh, example and it is written in our shastra also that it is the power of raj hans only that they can uh, differentiate between uh, the milk and water they can just suck up milk from the water they have this power inside them only the hans is having this kind of power inside them so what up to speak about raj hans so all the raj hans they were flying and they just uh, came to one uh, pond and there uh, they uh, just met with one duck one duck and they said that and they just become friendly with them and what happened that and they stayed for uh, uh, quite a bit with them and then they just eat uh, together with them and that param hans raj hans he is just speaking to the duck that uh, your friend you c- come to manasarovar there will be lot of things you will get lot of anand there oh, so sweet water is there and like amrit and uh, whole atmosphere around is very good and there is all lotus flowers uh, on the floor and the duck is speaking that we googly you know googly uh, those who are just uh, small small insects just in the in the mud we we will we will get that insects in which are there in the mud oh you will not get, get that garbage you will get lotus flower you will get honey you will get lot of amrit there you are going for all this uh, muddy things which are not at all good all garbage so they are saying samuk will we will get samuk will get google so then he saying duck is saying that if i am not getting google if i am not getting mud if i am not getting garbage then why to go to manasarovar so why if i will not get any insects then why i will go to manasarovar no no i will not go to manasarovar not at all my life and soul is just this this so prabhupada speak you he is so foolish number 1 he is such an owlish person that in manasarovar he will get lotus flower he will get honey but still he don't want to go because he don't he want to get all that rubbish garbage in his life that duck so why i will not go there <laughs> you see the case so prabhupad is giving this example very important example those in the name of rupanuga raganuga bhajan are doing uh, other things they are actually uh, i am just uh, appealing on to the lotus lead that you please what bhakti vinod thakur has told what keshav goswami has told what prabhupad has told what shridhar goswami maharaj has told bhakti pramod guru goswami maharaj what they have told us they are all actually foolish uh, they don't know anything about rupanug raganug bhajan they have actually shown us the actual pathway of the parampara of the uh, shila rupa goswami and they are also the p- protector of our uh, sampradayik rakshak they are the actual protector of the sampradha bhakti vinod thakur prabhupad those you you will you will go to the different pathway you will not follow them so 
सो वी आई एम आई एम जस्ट ऑलरेडी स्टार्टिंग द इंट्रोडक्टरी पोर्शन ऑफ द उपदेश अमृत रूप गोस्वामी सो वॉट एवर इज द केस नेक्स्ट वीक आई विल डेफिनेटली बी डिस्क्राइबिंग अबाउट द मोर डिटेल डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ रूप गोस्वामी पाद वॉट इज गुड एंड वॉट इज नॉट गुड फॉर कृष्ण भक्ति इट इज रिटर्न इन द फर्स्ट इन द फर्स्ट लुक ऑफ रूप गोस्वामी पाद उपदेश अमृत देर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इफ प्रभुपाद विल डू द व्याख्या ऑफ उपदेश अमृत दैन ही विल डू इट फॉर होल ईयर इफ भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर विल डू इट इट विल ही डू फॉर होल ईयर बट आवर लक इज नॉट गुड बिकॉज इन द एरा ऑफ भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर ऑल्सो द हरी कथा ऑफ भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर द हरी कथा ऑफ प्रभुपाद वी आर नॉट वी इन द फॉर्म इन द फॉर्म ऑफ राइटिंग वी हैव बट नॉट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वर्बल बट इन नाइनटीन थर्टी टू इन आकाशवाणी भवन वी हैव देर इज वन टेलीकास्ट इन महिषासन मर्दनी सो देर वॉज नो रिकॉर्ड एट दैट पॉइंट देर वर्ल्ड आई डोंट नो अबाउट दैट बट देर इज वन इन्फॉर्मेशन इन नाइनटीन थर्टी टू देर इज वन ब्रॉडकास्ट फ्रॉम आकाशवाणी बट प्रोपात एक्चुअली हैज लेफ्ट द बॉडी ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट डिसम्बर नाइनटीन थर्टी थर्टी बट इफ यू विल इफ यू विल जस्ट कंसिडर द इंग्लिश कैलेंडर तो प्रभुपाद हैज जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नाइनटीन थर्टी सेवन फर्स्ट जनवरी सो बट देर शुड बी एज वॉइस रिकॉर्डिंग रिगार्डिंग प्रभुपाद बट आई हैव दैट इन्फॉर्मेशन इन नाइनटीन थर्टी टू दैट इज द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट महालिया वॉज टेलीकास्ट इन आकाशवाणी बट इफ दैट रिकॉर्डिंग इज पॉसिबल दैन वाई द रिकॉर्डिंग्स ऑफ प्रभुपाद इज नॉट डन and param puja pad keshav gosmai maharaj recording was done all the pravachan what he has done up till now it is there in the form of the cassette and i have just requested one sanyasi also you please give me two to three cassettes every day so that i can uh, i can just rectify it and you know, save it in computer but he hasn't given me there are lot of kari katha of keshav ko sun raha but he hasn't given it all are getting destroyed i have just uh, requested him so much i will just take it in the form of uh, writing and i will give it to him so everything is get destroyed so it is just the kripa of krishna okay what we can speak up till how much point we can speak so there is no Say nothing to do. What we can do?